Today we have Gilly Shaw um, of Wolves, uh, the Yam Yam Army, I, I think you were called, weren't you, Gilly? At first it was called the, the Bridge Boys, following the, uh, the old Subway Army. They were, Subway the, Army, the, of course, of course. The Subway they, they, was before, they was a bit before my time, you see, a few yeah. years before. Um, so... As a as a young lad, what attracted you to football, Gilly? Uh, realistically, I wasn't attracted to the football until I went I went to Wolverhampton, went to Wolverhampton. and um, I just on a night out, and I just saw the Molyneux, and I just thought I did not want to get in there. Right, is it simple as that? As simple as that, and. But then, uh, my mum had a boyfriend who was a massive wolf supporter. Right. And he took me against Liverpool when I was about eight years old. Eight years old. And we both got in the turnstiles for a pound. Yeah. I remember it. <laughs> Madness, isn't it? One pound. <laughs> a pound. Bloody hell. Um, so what what age was you when you um first started going on your own, you know, when like, you know, when you were going with your about mates? Four, about 14. 14, 15. Can you yeah. remember the, the first time you saw a bit of aggro and who it was against? The first time I saw a little bit of aggro. I was, well, I was at home. I mean, it starts after me when, you, when you're at home, don't you? I mean, you get like, you got like that estate or fight that estate. Yeah, and that will turn off like that will turn, and you meet other lads and they say, "Come up the game," and they're like, it, it, "You'll find a scrap or not." So I've gone up there. You meet other lads from like places like because I'm from a little place outside Wolverhampton named Bilston. Right, you see a lot of places like Wensfield and, and Bushby it was an area in Wolverhampton. Where there was a lot of lads, like lot, I mean lads, like dressers, lads. Yeah. Your areas like Tipton, Dudley, Telford, where there was a few lads, like, but, but support dressers. And the local games was like I can't remember the first time I saw it, but it was with the young guy. I mean, it comes to mind Bolton and Cardiff. Yeah. Because we was in the lower leagues, you see. Wolves was in the Division 4. And right. there was only like, there was only, I mean, like 4,000 crowd. And that 4,000 crowd was having like three, four, sometimes 500 lads. Right, yeah, of course, the rest of shirts. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean yeah. it's a lot of lads. I mean, for the percentage of 4,000 crowd, you know, maybe like 10% is like lads. Good. Yeah, good. it's a good turn up. So you said that you're from um, a little area just outside Wolverhampton. And yeah, Bill, Bill obviously said. there's other areas of other mobs. So can you tell me how you sort of all united them? And, and yeah, the I can honestly say, I mean, I can honestly say, uh, I think I did. I'm, I'm the big games. I mean, we went to West Brom. <laughs> Went to West Brom once, and uh, some of the Plymouth lads was with us because we're very friendly with Plymouth. Okay, and, yeah. Uh, and um, I went. I popped up to see the Tipton lads. I popped up to see the Gorn all lot, and everything. we had a pub at a, in Hansworth in Birmingham. Yeah? Right, and Hansworth is a mile from the ground, West Brom's ground. Right, and we was there. Right, it was there. And we got there at 11 o'clock, no block, no old bill, nothing. And we walked all the way because the police think we're coming that way, but we're coming that way. Yeah. And, and when we got to about 300 yards from the actual ground, there were all these army and fans. Yeah, we were all we, we, we wolves, you divs. And we had to stray into them. <laughs> <didn't we? laughs> Yeah, straight up. Uh, and, uh, we took we took the piss that day, but to hear Albion, we we never come into that. But you go to West Brom, 
They haven't got a town centre. It's 200 metres long, that's it. So how can a firm of 400 get into a town that's 200 metres long? Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. You fill it. I'll do it. But but we go and visit them all the time. I mean, on the way back, and Birmingham. Whenever we, we go south, and we come back on the train, we either get off at Birmingham, pay them a visit, or get on the tram and pay West Brom a visit. Yeah. We always, what, um, so the Midlands is obviously, you've got yourselves, Wolves, then you've got Birmingham, the Zulus, then you've got West Brom. Um, if you're being honest, Gilly, who had the best firm back in the day out of out of those you teams? And to, Aston you Villa me, as well. Yeah. Right, you want me to be honest? Yeah. Right? The Subway Army, right? The Subway Army were a very good firm, Wolves. Yeah. Right? Before my, before I'm going to be honest, I'm only about four years older than me, but four years is a lot, right? For the size of them, 50, 60 of them, that's all there was. They was good. Yeah. You understand? Organised. Right? Yeah. Not particularly organised. It was a group of lads, right? Who, I mean, I know, I know a lot of them, and they are good. And the men, and the professional men now, you understand me? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the professional man. I mean, I, I've got like a, a good friend, big uh, West Indian lad named Nelly, uh, one of the main lot. And uh, I what I'd love to mention is, uh, is I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, I wish I could get into him. He might turn, you know, but he's a great bloke. Even though I don't want to, he gave me a ticket. At Bournemouth for nothing, so he knows who I'm on about. Okay, yeah, yeah, I've got you, yeah, the top bloke. But like, and then, uh, like the subway. Now, what was what did you do about who did you say? A rating, did you say? Yeah, who did what? you rate in the Midlands? You know, was it the Zulus? Was it was it West Brom? In the, was it Aston Villa? In the early 80s, in the early 80s, I don't think you could touch the Zulu, right? Okay. That's very honest. Yeah. Right. I don't think you could touch them. The early 80s to the, the late 80s, they were awesome. Right. Awesome. And they had a fuck. I'm going to tell you, they had a fucking firm. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. They had a firm. You just see it against Leeds, didn't you? That video against Leeds. Yeah. Leeds, that was, that was the thing. They had a, they had, a good 2,000 firm if they wanted to. That's a lot of lads, isn't it? Um, did I'm you... Gonna, you must have had some battles with Stoke um, Stoke, along your I'll way. Go, I got sent to jail for Stoke, yeah. Right, We've okay. had a lot. All right, yeah. Jasper and his lot. All right, all right, Stoke. We've had... Because we were in the lower leagues, because Stoke's always been in the lower leagues as well with us. Yeah. Not the low, low leagues like the championships and all that. Stout used to turn up more than West Brom. Right, I've got you. And they want to go the road, if you understand yeah. me. Right, and all the things like that. Stout have got a good... And they are smart as well. I mean, smartness has got to go with it. I mean, being smart as well. And they were smart as well. You understand me? Yeah. But there was a tidy, and there so was all said, but... So you said that you you uh, it was a nine month sentence, wasn't it? You got um, under Operation Growth. Um... No, no, uh, no. Operation Growth that was done in nineteen eighty eight. Right, right. That was get rid of troublesome Wolverhampton's troublesome hooligans. Right. So Operation Growth. Now that was the group, that was us after the Subway Army. Now the group of lads just meeting up, like I said, from different areas. Yeah. And all that, right? uh, 68 of us. It was the biggest operation ever done. And um, I mean, it was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Right? It was getting naughtier and naughtier and naughtier. There was riots in Wolverhampton. And I thought that brought the close to it. We didn't yeah. get involved because there was, but like, the football lads didn't get involved in the rights. But like, they, they, you know what the media is like. That's how football violence. They didn't. 
Yeah. And, um, it was it was great. I mean, we was only young. There was no mobile phones. Uh, used to meet, come back, meet up, go out on a Saturday night, get a bit of tot. You know what I mean? Because so, <laughs> all, because all, all, excuse me, they all knew you because who you were. But oh, that's that's, that's uh, and they all went to the PC, you know what I mean? And you got you got it, you know what I mean? Of course <laughs> you, you did. Me. Reputation. Who wouldn't? Yeah. Who wouldn't? I mean we, we mates like Kings, uh Gary Payton, uh Aki, all the I mean, Daze but uh, there was Joey, there was, I I can hear about Joey. Especially a lad named Trevor Ellis, black lad, funny, uh, Steve Preston, everybody. They all, we was all bridge boys, right? Yeah. We was called the bridge boys. And we all got done. Darren Mills, everything. Great, great set of lads. Brilliant. Little Norman. I could go on and on and on. Yeah. Right? Okay. We'll, um, we'll talk about another subject because you was quite involved. Um, in following England, um, in various World Cups, um, and European, um, yeah, what was your most favourite tournament or your most memorable tournament with 19, England? I'll never get this. Nineteen ninety three, Holland, in Holland, right? All the way, best film I've ever seen in my life. What Holland? No, England. Oh, England, Bev. Yeah. So you took Got a lot of liberties in Holland. Easy, easy 4,000, lad. Right. Can easy. you remember the team, like the firms that, that sort of made up that England firm? It was, everybody, even, I'm sorry to say this, even fucking Norwich had a firm. I mean, well, I mean everybody and everybody. Oldham had a good firm. Yeah. I said Oldham. Pompey had a. Tremendous firm out there, right? Yeah, uh, 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 but it was like one of my first games I went to, and after that, I thought, ah, big games compared to this following the country, there's not a patch on it. So, so, you, so you definitely are over club or country, you, you're definitely country. Oh, for a fact, I am, yeah, I am, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people saying. No, but I am. Yeah, I mean, I've interviewed um, quite a few people, quite a few people. and they say, and they say uh, yeah, I'd rather follow my club than go for my country. But um, from what I've seen and from what I've researched about you, Gilly, is that, um, you know, you was a, a, a main face in England um, in the away firms. It's, it's, not, it's not that. You just get a, a, your name. Uh, at, with with your with your team, and then, but if you take a firm, you got Wolves. They will say, "Is Gilly here?" And they say, "There he is," and they'll come over talking to you, and you make friends. I mean, we yeah. make friends with we make friends with Plymouth. We like lads from Huddersfield, Plymouth, and play like that. And we was like best friends with Plymouth lads. Great set of lads. Great yeah, set of lads. Self. Yeah, the central element. Um, I know yeah. a few uh, of them. You got Mike Levy, you got all them. You got Brit, and I'm all there. And they do, they got respected people. I mean, there's a poor lad who passed away from Oxford. And I went down on a funeral, and they was there. And it was great to see them. All them paying their respects. And, 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 Mans and Mansfield. Brilliant set of lads. Yeah. Morally, following England, all England, all England. Was, yeah. I mean, like, like, like somebody said before, Mansfield, like Plymouth, you ain't going to see them in the Champions League. Like, no. Or, or, or so United. that was their chance to travel. Their to chance Europe. to travel. Yeah. yeah, so there was a lot of lower league teams that followed England. Um, yeah. But, you know, England, England were known. Um, did you sort of ever come up against any sort of police brutality because of the <laughs> oh, yeah. England have? Yeah, 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 yeah. Loads of times, 
loads of times. Uh, we've seen um, Lille the once, and uh, was in, it was going off in, in Lille. And it was, it's supposed to be Lens. That we right, yeah. But we went to Lille, and we, we had to, I mean, some of us, we went, we went to Dover. We got to turn back. Um, two minibus falls, rents. One out of each minibus. Paul Abbott, my friend, my best friend, he had a warrant out for him. He oh, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. So he was straight away, and me, I mean, he'd gone. So what we did, a uh, lad named Boner, good bro, top mate, top low. Uh, Boner said, right. We could get from um, Ramsgate to Belgium, Austin, to try that way. And we did. We got that way. We got through. We stopped a night in Austin. Fuck me. What a night. There was riots everywhere. Leicester was there. Massive Leicester. Tony Addison, who you'll see, probably see soon. He was uh, yeah, I'm That's due how... to interview him soon. Yeah. yeah. That's how I got to know Tony. Right. Oh, what, from that night? Yeah. yeah, from that night. That's how I got to know Tony. And a lad named Paul Bracken from Arsenal. Top lad. Um, was all there. And it just went. The uh, Something went off anyway. And all the lads was in one hotel. And uh, the raid, I got this little B&B on my own. I said, fuck you, like, you're going to get big bait. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'm off on my own. I make my own way. You, like, you, you, you're on top, mate. You're on top. You're like, I'm, get, we got that much changa. It's like Colombia. Like Colombia. Yeah. Really? yeah. yeah. Some of those. And when you got up in the morning, there were scooters out, been on fire, everything. Right. And I, the lads come over to me, he went, there's about 30, 40 being deported back. And After that was getting when, all that and way, then they get deported back. Yeah. And that was before we even got into uh, France. But when we, got into, when we got into France, it was even worse because, I mean, oh no, I'm getting mixed up. We, we, uh, we, where was that? I'm getting mixed up here because we, got, we went to one. And they put us in an, an, an old pound. They arrested us once. And Alice Abrams was there as well. He got arrested me, with me. Yeah, yeah. I've spoke to Anis, yeah. Interviewed yeah, on the website. Funny, yeah. funny. Got a good friend, Doi, as Doi Thomas. Yeah, Doi Thomas, the ex-football player. Yeah. yeah. Funny bloke. So you get to know each other. And like, the, the, the wish you happy birthday, if you will. Like they'll say, get they stay in touch. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You wrote a book with Martin King. Um, yeah. How was that experience? Martin's a great guy. You know, don't, I, I, I love Martin. Martin's a great guy. And I've got loads of respect for Martin. And I look up to Martin. Like, uh, even, though, even though it looks like he can climb but and tell the shows and horses. I mean, <laughs> he'll kill me for that. Mm. I mean, like, yeah, that's that's quite a long time, isn't it, to write a book? And I suppose you had to remember <laughs> where you have been, yeah. who it was against. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, because we lived. It was uh, it wasn't a very long book. I mean, because we lived as far away from each other. Because you lived in Bognor Bridges at that time. Yeah, and it was like a lot of difference. Like, I mean, we doing things, and he he had a job. He was a taxi driver in London. In the yeah, South. that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You see, see, he was a busy man. And so when I was doing something up here, you know, I'm a judge of Jesus. You know what I mean? So, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what I have noticed um, with Martin is that he's helped a lot of lads with their books, isn't he? He's helped with boats, he... He's helped a lot he's of them. Out with, yeah. He's helped with Jasper Thompson. I mean, that's the only name on top of my head. But I'm sure that he's been involved in lots of other books. And in future for you, Gilly, you know, what's the message that you would give? Because you've been involved in a lot of stuff uh, in the past. 
I mean, pan- I was on a program, Panorama. Yeah. They stitched me up a treat. They stitched me up a treat. I just want to say something to these West Brom dudes, though. I didn't crack that geezer from behind. I mean... Right, okay. I mean, <laughs> I'm, at, I'm at the geezer out for the fun of it. Right? And his son come to crack at Wolverhampton not long ago, so I'm not the fuck out of him as well. That's what I'm going to say about that. Ah, that. This is your chance to say what you need to say. You know this is mean? why I do no, what I no, do. Panorama, no, panorama, right? Um, they stitched me up a treat. They got me to the, to the club um, like following me about in, um, in, in Germany, 2000. And they locked on to me. And um, it was just pure coincidence. They locked on to me. Yeah. And they're not um, interested in the truth, are they? They're, in, they're no. interested in... It's, it, it's like, like we said, me and my Paul, Paul Abbott. I've got two friends like Paul, Paul Abbott and Carl Abbott's brothers. Carl's a football lad proper. Paul's retired, but Carl, Carl's a proper football lad. Like, you know what I mean? It, he knows a lot of people around there. He's a f- good friend of mine. He is. Yeah. Even though we have like ups and downs, he's been be- one of my best pals. But like, um, but but was they the pop the ones? This black like, this man come wants to take like a story off us. It was like, are you going to Thailand? Not, not Thailand, but Japan. Is it the World Cup in yeah. Japan? Yeah. I said, no, mate, I'm not going. Can't afford it, and I don't want to go. Right? He's writing all these down. He made Paul, right? He said, I'm going to Thailand to watch it. And the other brother, which I'm not going to, he's got a professional job, so I'm not going to mention it. Uh, well, he said, well, he said you know, the other brothers, go in, buy boats. In the... Uh, the Daily Mirror, three days later, Pierce Morgan, the prick, the <laughs> editor, um, put Mr. Shaw, plans to travel far east, via Dubai, to Thailand, to go to Japan. And you've told thought, the fella straight, you, you can't afford it, you're not interested, you're not going. No, I said, oh, fuck off, right? Yeah. All his mates said, Paul, that he was going to Thailand, which he was, on holiday. He said, he'll watch it while his brother will go over. And that, that was it. Next minute I know, I'm checking a firm of 50 over to Japan. Unbelievable. But, well, that's it. That's what they do. I'm always like it. I mean, there's three sides to the story. And, uh, your side, their side of the truth. You never, they'll never ever tell the truth. No. Um, no. What I would ask you is, what? How many times have you been in the papers? Can you remember? Because they did seem to target you, didn't they? Well, th- I got to know one of the editors at, in the Expression Star. Right. And he turned around to be a good chap, didn't you? So he didn't slag me off so much like the Expression Star, the local paper. Yeah, I mean, he was all right, but he's. It's that Pierce Morgan, the prick. He's he the one who stitches you up. Yeah. He, he, he stitched me up. He, and he wouldn't talk to me. Um, I mean, like you said, they, I mean, I've, had, I've been banned 28 years. It's a long fucking time. It's a, it's a I, lifetime, I, 28 I, years. Right. I, I yeah. had fucking hey, I mean, I had a fridge. That class I was in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean okay, like, Gilly. So what? Um. So what do you do these days? What you know? What does a retired football hooligan do? I've been ill. I've been ill the last few years, Matt. To tell you the truth, All right? I, I had cancer not long ago. Well, it was. I mean, I had 27% chance of living. That's right? not a lot, Gilly. I know it a lot. But like, I've turned around. My pals was there. My family was there for me. 
I've got more for the missus and my sister. I don't want to... Uh, but, and, I mean, there was two lads who was there as well. I mean, I mean my mates, it was Carl and Nicky Smith. But I, they was there. They called me the hospital. I mean, I was in intensive care. They come up there. I mean, that's past fair. That's friends, yeah. 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 Not interested I mean, in money or anything. They're there yeah. for you. Yeah. Even though, even though you've got your family, you need your pals. Of course you do. Yeah. And you need your football pals. Because these football pals, right, not like any, any other football firm, they're with, with 53, 54. That's 40 years. It's a lifetime, Gilly. Yeah. And we don't fall out. We have our tips, but we don't fall out. Yeah, and that's... I, I, I mean, there's, there's no... I mean, if the areas fall out, I'll go out with a good one. It's not we might spoil it for good day. There's a proper man over in Dudley. I mean, there's Nosha, there's Jack and Boyles and all of that. And then you've got all these, like, I would teach them, oh, I'll be like, oh, she got it, and all them proper geezers. Like, I mean, wolves, proper wolves and all that. Yeah. And if we all fall out, we'll, say, we'll come together and say, no, we don't need to fall out. We're, no. We're, prep, we're proper and better. You're all staunch lads. Yeah. As a unit. Right, I mean, yeah. the proper yeah. as a unit. And we're there. And when we want to go, I mean, we went to Millwall a few years ago, five years ago, and we went as a unit, three hundred of us. Right? We went to the unit. Marching out the out, fair play to him. He told me to go east, off Houston, instead of London Bridge. We went to Whitechapel, over the water, bang straight into Sunny Keys. We did what we wanted to. We saw Ginger Bob, yeah. the Middle Wall, came over to us. He went, fair play. He said, I can't believe what you fucking done. But nice. we was there. We done what we had to do. Exactly. You know, yeah. Millwall is their, their, their reputation by any means. You know, but so no, for no, a firm no. to turn up on an away day to Millwall shows you what you're all about. You know, of course. Brother, we had to do it because a few few years ago back then, they turned up on a Tuesday night, on a winter's fucking Tuesday night. Right, five hundred Andy. Yeah. Five hundred Andy. Now, who the fuck's going to turn out? We had about 20. <laughs> I mean, oh, no. Now you've got 500 lads ready to tear your head off. Yeah. One of them, did you see that Paul Everton's lad, that Everton, the lad, from Everton, got his French cut. We've been together a long, long fucking time. I mean, yeah. it's the same lads. We've been together since we were 14 and 15, right? Right. The other week. Did you see what they no. did to him? But they cut, they cut him from his eye all the way down. They done one of that. Done that to one of our lads years ago. So it was repayment time. Yeah. We went. But, but I'll tell you what. We went to um, Benidorm, and who did we bump into? Millwall. <laughs> but, and we fucking flogged them. I, uh, <laughs> fucking I suppose flogged that's them. the thing, Gilly. You don't. You never know when it's going to go off, do you? You know, you're in Benidorm. You meet Millwall. You know, it's, it's that, madness. There's, there was about 25 of them that was putting it on two of them. Ah, look. We was in the club watching it. Right? <laughs> so we've come around the corner and they're fucking out. We fucking flogged them. Anyway, they've got a pouch. We've got one of the pouches. And he's phoned up. And he's got his mobile phone in there. And he's got a big bag of fucking sanga. Right? <laughs> right? Massive. Anyway, this QPR lad to come over like he said, look, he only wants his phone back. So we, can, we sent his phone in a, in, a, in a taxi to where he was. And we had, we had, like, had his fucking changa. You know yeah. I mean? A lot of people wouldn't have even sent his phone back, though, Gilly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we're not That's like respect, that. though, isn't it, I suppose? We got, you know, we had, I mean, we ain't... I mean, but the best way... I mean, lately, I mean, was five years ago, and it was with their loot and chopped them. Oh, and, yeah. Um, and Dante. Uh, Dante, Dante Hawkins. Uh, Dante Hawkins, yeah. 
Yeah, I've seen him great, on um, documentaries. Great young lad. Great young lad. I went to his birthday party. Great young lad. Fantastic. Really, like, uh, been in touch one of our youngest. We was all in milk Keynes, 150 of us, three coast loads. And um, one of the lads have had a phone call and um, said, we've been laid to Buzzard, which is one stop away, just one stop. And I thought, mm. what, what's going on? I could see the commotion in the corner. And they said, you're coming, you're coming. And I went, where? Well, I've just had an operation for fucking cancer, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, I thought, yeah. I thought, <laughs> I thought fucking hell. But it's like, well, it's like, it was, it's peer pressure. It's a lot of peer pressure. You, you see your pals and you think, fucking all right, I'll come. So yeah, I jumped in. Cool. Yeah. I mean, Matt, I'll tell you the truth, we might, we might have fucking worm, right? Following this fucking post going... Well, we got a, one's got a fucking mobile phone in his hand, following Google Maps to his postcard. Who's <laughs> <laughs> so, got Google Maps? Oh, that's bro, fantastic. So we really. following this fucking road. Yeah. yeah. And we're in this road, there's no sign of them. We've just turned around, brother. Right? I'm a fucking there right in front of us. And there is no place in the little street. And it's gone, mate. Just He'll tell you that. He, 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 he does a, he's done a podcast with James English. All right, and yeah. 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 And he'll tell you about it. Right. Fuck me, brother. It was a fucking round. He's like one of them Russian ones. Now them Russians, they get stuck into each other. Yeah, yeah. The bloody Fuck forest me. fights and all that. But all the rows all the rows that I've been going to. He's a great bloke and I respect him. Yeah, and there was a, a another man I respect. He got rest his soul, Fat Pat. Fat Pat. Pat Nolan. Um, do, do you remember how long it took to write your book? A good, a good eighteen months. I know that I've been involved in. That's the best one. That was the best one. I spoke. And, you've and obviously for the last five years you've been ill and um and you yeah, been bro, quiet. I went, I went, I went, to, I went to his birthday party three weeks later, though. Yeah, well, that just shows it, doesn't it? The respect, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I was like, you know, you've been ill, as you've said. You've had cancer um, and you've just been living um, a quiet life. Um, I suppose to finish up, Gilly, do you miss the old football days or Mate, are you if done? They me, if they give me a million pounds to go back to it now, I would. <laughs> right? If, right? If, right? Even though I can, if they give me three quid, if they give me three quid to go back to it, I would. It wouldn't give yeah. money as I want to. Right? It was the best days of my life. Yeah. And well, that's being now, honest, isn't it? Yeah. Right? right? Yeah. Best days of my life. Better than sex, mate. Yeah. Yeah. That right? was See, the, the yeah. Right? Was See, it an addiction? Do you think it's an addiction? Football hooliganism. Of course it is. Yeah. I've, not, I've never smoked or drank in my life. Right. right? Never. Right? I just loved the camaraderie with the lads together, seeing us dressed, smart. Nothing I mean, like it. Yeah. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. I mean, I was in England, Scotland, Glasgow not long ago. I'm the only one who got West Brom. In the pub with us, mingling with us, like you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You asked me earlier on who was all right in the middle. Villa, great, good. I'll get on with Villa, Fairla, Chuka, all that. Good. I hate the fucking sight of Birmingham City. I'm going <laughs> to tell you straight now. I fucking I, I hate them. They've never done, I'm going to tell you straight. They've never done fuck all in twenty years. Right, they've done nothing. They've done nothing now. Fucking Paul Vale could do them. I mean, they're yeah. fucking shit. Right, <laughs> West Brom. To me, West what, what West Brom had done, he could put it on the back of the stamp. I mean, <laughs> fuck, fuck all. Right? Yeah, Villa. I mean, living the same. I mean, West Brom. They got they got alliances with Venlo from. 
Holland, uh, QPR. Right. They got they got about fucking four, five, and, and we still flog them. Yeah. Don't matter what they've who they've got with them. I mean, we play. was in Birmingham all the old and still we, and we smashed Tommy Robinson's march. Right. Oh yeah. All the young ones, all the young ones went to Wednesday because West Brom had been on this march and flogged them. <laughs> Any chance? Any chance they Any get? Chance. They were laughing stuck. Okay, Gilly. Um, obviously, <laughs> you've been in the papers. You was in um, the real football factories. So it's good to have you on my podcast. Um, so thank you very that. much, mate. I ain't, I ain't that bad. I'm just a geezer, like any other geezer. Yeah. But, but I mean, I'm just a geezer. But those, the camera on it, it. You've just, as, listen, men have been fighting on this earth since they've been on here. For, for territory, money, money, love, women. And same as when you get to football. I mean, I used to look up, I used to look at the, the ICF and, and think, fuck me, look at them. I mean, look, I remember going to Wolves the once, the one season, looking up the top tier at this ground and Chelsea was there. And I thought, and there was going, one man went to my, singing that. And yeah, I thought, yeah. look at them, the diamond Pringles and everything. Then well, yeah. two weeks later, because we, we had Arsenal there, and they was in the cop because I thought, fuck it, look how smart they are. You know what I mean? That's and, and then you thought, that's a bit of me. Uh, well, that's a bit of me. But also, no, we didn't have enough, um, as much money as they looked down south. No. I mean, I mean, but like, the scouts is robbing it. Well, they, they robbed the granny they would. I mean, yeah, but, uh, yeah. There's obviously a, a north-south divide um, on the fashion. Yeah, but like, to me, I mean, Man United are the best friends in the country. Yeah, the Red Army. Yeah. By far, by far. I mean, Tottenham. I went to I went to Tottenham Cardiff in the cup the once. I've never seen nothing like that. That was fucking mayhem. Mayhem. And, uh, yeah, I've been to a few. Like, I was there with um, Martin Chelsea Cardiff. Uh, two thousand and ten. I was there. Yeah, and I was there. I was there with a few of us. Me and Carl Adams. Yeah, when it yeah. went off in the street. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, Gilly. Um, thanks for talking to me. So that was Gilly no, Shaw no. of of Wolves. Uh, there'll be wish, more I'm videos. Yeah. <laughs> there'll be more videos coming from UK Casual soon.